laying down, just sleeping, trying to read, stressing, and wondering how in the world am I going to get myself out of this predicament. So I got to change. I got to get myself up, breathe, take a walk. My dog got more persistent than me. This man trying to get this. Just got to look and think at myself. What are you doing with your life? Are you happy? Are you satisfied? No. I quit. My nine to five job. Some people would say, why would I do that? I made a dumb decision. I had a good job. It came with benefits. A lot of jobs don't come with benefits. If I'm not happy doing what I'm doing and it's just making me sad and just get in a negative space, in a negative spot, why would I honestly want to keep doing something that I hate, that I dread? It's like we're taught to do things that we hate because that's just how life is. Don't nobody like working, but yet we all work. And the second that you go against the grain and you're not following everybody's tempo, it's a problem. It's looked at as like, what are you doing? Like, why don't you get your ass up today? Go out and look for a job. No. Work. This is what you're supposed to do. And it's just like, where has that gotten you? Nowhere. I had to quit the system. I had to quit the system before I truly became a part of the system and I wouldn't know how to break out. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I feel like I'm building somebody else's empire, but mine hasn't even started. And I feel like I just was losing myself. Any job I went to. Because anytime I go back to something that's familiar and something that's comfortable, I'm not happy. So I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. It doesn't make me happy. I just end up being content for a little bit and then I'm unhappy. I slowly start getting depressed. I feel like I'm not doing the things that I could be doing. You don't mean nothing if you're not happy. You don't need a job to make money. You don't need a job to make money. And why am I sitting over here trying to work a job that I hate, that I don't like? I literally take, I'm supposed to be taking 15 minute breaks, y'all. Let me, I, look, I used to work at Target. Target, like the Target. Everybody loves. Mind you, the workspace and the environment, it is amazing. Everybody is so helpful, so lovely. But behind all of that, everybody is miserable. They don't like what they're doing and they're just work, working robots. I'm supposed to be taking 15 minute breaks. Mind you, we get two breaks. We get a 15 minute and we get a, a 30 minute. I would take my 15 minute and child, I'll be, and mind you, this is on the clock. I'll take a 15 minute break and be gone for one hour, two hours, three hours, sometimes four hours if I got lucky on the clock at a time. I did not like working there. <laughs> yeah, I took a leap of faith and I literally did not finish my shift. I clocked out of work. I told my lead, I was just like, hey, can I talk to you? And she was just like, yeah. Uh, do you want to talk upstairs? You want to go outside? I was like, we can go outside because honestly, that's where it was going to lead me to going. And I was just like, I don't know what I'm hearing. I was just like, you know, I'm just so nervous. Like, I was nervous. And I was like, this is normally, like, not like me. Because it's not. Because normally when I quit any of my other jobs, child, I just leave. Well, except one job. But other than that, I would just leave. Like, I wouldn't even tell them I quit. They just have to get the memo, like, bro, I'm done. Like, I'm out. <laughs> like, I'm a good worker, but it's just like, yo, like, I ain't even got to explain myself. I'm out. Fuck you, I'm out. But I'm just like, yo, this is not even like me. But I just don't want to work here no more. And I told her, I was like, I don't want to work here no more. And she was like, okay. 
she was just like is there a reason why like is everything okay and i'm just like everything was okay i just i don't feel like i'm supposed to be here like i feel like i'm glad that i did work here but this doesn't serve me anymore like i need to move on i'm not happy here i'm literally sad depressed i can have a good day driving to work but when i get in here my energy literally shoots low to the floor and i just feel so unhappy and like this is not something i want to do this is not nothing i see myself wanting to do for the rest of my life if i just basically if i just stay here and i settle for this i would be so unhappy with myself because i know i can play the part keep showing up and woo woo but i would be so unhappy within myself because i know there's so much more that i can do so i told her and she respected it she was like i understand i'm not mad you know i understand i love her. And when I tell you, I was so happy. I am still happy. Like when I left there, I was just so happy. It was just like the weight was just lifted off of me. It was like, that's what I was supposed to do. It felt like I was aligning more and more with the person that I actually wanted to be instead of the person who I felt like I should be to appease my family. So I started getting more serious about when was I gonna be. I had to act like I still had a job. So I would get up every day that I had to work. I had to make up some stuff. And I would just go out and find Amazon products, boxes, tape, product, research, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Until now. It's been one minute since I left my job. <laughs> a company with my girlfriend got an LLC got the Amazon store doing taking these steps even though it looks risky and so fucking scary I'm taking these risks to get me closer and closer to what I want which is ultimately financial freedom Gay. that's it that's my goal I always told myself growing up as a kid, I'm a businesswoman, I'm a boss, I'm a CEO. I'm like, me being a worker, that's not me. I'm a boss. And I want, and I can't be a boss if I keep acting like an employee. Oh, hell no. So what did I do? I started acting like a fucking boss. It's no longer an act, I am a boss. I have my own company with my girlfriend. We have a company doing so much. And I just want y'all to come along with this journey with me because I'm not even gonna sit up here and be like, oh, this mess is like easy because it's not. It's for this is only a certain amount of people can do this. If you're not fit to do this and take temporary and take setbacks and temporary defeat as lessons to grow you, you are not gonna sustain in this. It's like, you literally have to do all of this and it's like, you gotta sacrifice money. And then it's just like, I don't have money. How am I gonna get money if I lost, if I quit my job? And it's just like, you still have to stick and think. Like, this is what I gotta do. So do it. And I'm doing it. I'm not letting fear take me over and, and put me back in that mindset. I have to read this book just to get this book helped so much when i first left my job i think the next day i got this book read this whole entire book and this book helped so much you it starts up here you can't want to be a different person and say you want to do all this and that and the third but you don't do nothing to get to that at this rate you're just talking you have to change your mental and actually believe it. Because if you don't believe that you can actually have this, you're not going to. 
if you if you just revert back into fear and comfortability, that's all you're gonna have. Like change starts in here, in here. And then you have to change what's going on around you. You can't keep applying the same formula and hoping that you're gonna get a different result. You can't keep putting peanut butter and jelly on a on bread and thinking you're gonna get a bacon ham and cheese. And yet, no, you're just gonna get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So what can you? What do you have to do to uh, achieve that uh, bacon ham and cheese? Well, first off, you need to start stop putting peanut butter and jelly on it. <laughs> I say all this to say, do what makes you happy. Go against the grain. Who cares? Because people gonna say all this and that now, but if those people who's telling you stuff and giving you advice don't have the don't have the life that you want, don't listen to them. I can't listen to my mom. I can't listen to people in my family because they don't have a business. They're not wealthy. They're not financially free. So I can't take advice from people who don't got the things that I want. I can only take advice from the people that got the things that I want. It's your girl Chloe, and I'm out.